Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we are going to learn about Python dictionary in a simple way. So before starting, I want to tell you about Python dictionary to you guys. So Python dictionary works in a key value pair. So whenever we are storing a, an element in our dictionary, we will store it to a key value pair. So first we'll give the key and then we'll give the value of that value for that key. So let's get started. Now first we'll see how we can create a dictionary. So for creating dictionary, first you will name your dictionary. So I'm naming my dictionary as my info. And remember the dictionary is stored inside the curly braces. So whenever you want to create a dictionary, you have to use the curly braces. Now in the curly braces, you'll first give the name of your key, that is name, and then you'll give the value then if you want to store multiple elements then you'll give a comma after the value is completed then you can give the next key that is age and now age will be in integer format so you can directly write you don't need to write it uh, inside the double quotes now then there is city Now the value will be Mumbai. Now we have stored successfully our three elements. Now it's time for printing it. Now you'll see that this name Python age 29 in city Mumbai has been stored successfully. So in this way you can create a Python dictionary and you can store elements in a key value pair. Now we'll see how we can access the values. So for accessing the values, what you have to do, you have to just simply print the name of our dictionary that is my info. Now inside the square braces, you have to write the name of your key that is name. And when you'll execute the this line, then you'll see that the name key, the value has been printed for the name key that is Python. Now, suppose you want to print the city, then same, you have to do again. You'll write your dictionary name and in, followed by the square process, you'll write the key name that is city here. And when you'll execute your cell, then Mumbai will get print. So in this way, you can access the values of of the datas of the elements present inside your which we have is so stored inside your dictionary now modify how you can modify them so modifying them you have to write the name of the dictionary that is my info and suppose you want to modify the city so you'll write the name of the key over here that is city and then you you want to update it from mumbai to delhi so you will just write the updated value over here and then after that you have to just simply print your dictionary and you will see that the updated value of city from Mumbai to Delhi has been updated over here. So in this way you can modify it. Now how you can add new key value pairs. So for adding new key value pairs first you have to write the dictionary name that is my info then suppose you want to add country over here so you will write country and then you will directly assign the value of the country that is Bharat like this and then you can print my info and then you will see that name age city was already present now country has also been added in our dictionary now how we can remove a particular key value pair from our dictionary so we can do it using the del keyword followed by the name of your dictionary and then you'll write the particular uh, key name suppose i want to delete the dictionary uh, the city so i have written the key here city and then i'll print 
dictionary name that is my info and then after that you will see that name age and country are only getting printed because city has been removed now how we will check for key existence so we can check the existence of part of particular key using the membership of written i'll show you how so you, if suppose if name in my info then print yes else print no so if name is present in my info then it will print yes and yes name is uh, exist name is present so that's why it's printing yes now when i'll change it to city now it will print no because we have removed city here using the del keyword that's why it is printing no over here so in this way you can check for the key existence also using the conditional statement if and the membership operator in now there are three methods and very useful methods present in python dictionary that is to access all the keys there is a key method so for that first we'll create a variable keys and in that you have to just write the dictionary name then using the dot operator you will write the keys use the keys method over here and then you have to just print the newly created variable that is that is keys and you will see a class dict keys and inside that particular class a list has been created of all the of all the keys over here that is name age and country now there is a similar method for the values also so for that also you will create a new variable values and in that values will store our all the values which is accessed by the values method and then we will simply print all the values and now again dict values class is created and in a list all the values of but of these keys has been uh, printed over here python 29 and bar now we can print both the keys and the values together also for that there is a method items so for that items method will create a variable items to store all the items in that and we'll write our dictionary name followed by the dot operator and then we'll write the items method and we will just simply print the items and i'll see a new class of dict items has been created and inside a list you will see the square braces inside the square bracket there are tuples for one element one tuple has been created now for the other next tuple and for the last element the key value pair has been stored in another tuple so all the elements has been stored in different different tuples now at last we have to see how we can iterate how we can iterate means using the loops how we can iterate uh, in the dictionary so for iterating in the dictionary we can use the for loop so for key in our dictionary name that is my info and then we can just simply print the key also like this so only the keys are getting printed now when we want to print the key and values both so what we can do we can just create a variable value and in that variable value we'll just access the keys like this and then you have to print like this here you print like this first the key then the value so now you will see the key and the value both are has been printed together using the for loop now there is one more method but in this method you have to use the items method so what you can do you can just simply write for key comma 
value in my info dot items method now you will call the item methods here and then you will simply print using the f string you will print the key and then you will print the value now you'll see the same result over here so i'll put the spaces and you can see the result both are same but the working are different in this we haven't used the item method and then we are using this line in which we are created a variable value and in that variable each time for this key uh, current key we are accessing that value and then we are printing both the current key and the current value together now in this in this cell what we are doing we are just simply using the items method and then we are accessing both key and value in the loop time only and then we are just simply printing the key and the value separately together and then this output is coming i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video